I am going live from Westport, Connecticut. Hello, friends on Facebook. It is time for CEO check-in. And what we're going to do today is I'm going to do a mindset teaching. Then I'm going to share some news. Hi, Rabia. Um, hi, Julia. I'm going to share some news about relief packages that have been passed for small business owners. And then I'll do some live coaching. So thanks for joining me. Hi, CEO check-in. What uh, today is a mindset best practice called be, do, have. And it's a really powerful practice that can be especially used during this time when many of us are thinking about what big changes do I want to make in my life? Now that I'm not. I brought with me here to Westport. Some of you know I had to leave my home in New York. I'm in Westport, Connecticut. I brought with me my vision board that I made a few months ago, and it's up on my wall and a great reminder of all the things that I want to bring into my life. So, for instance, I want to travel more. I want to spend more amazing times with my boys. Um, there's love on the vision board. There's my next book on the vision board. If you haven't made one, this could be a great time to make your first vision board and DM me if you want some help with that. But there's, uh, it's a good reminder of things that you're trying to bring about in your life. So today's mindset teaching is to help you bring about things in your life that maybe you don't have just yet. And so it's called Be, Do, Have. And let me explain it like this. And I'll, so I have a podcast on this. Um, in my podcast, Million Dollar Mind, I did an entire episode on Be, Do, Have. So I'm going to give the quickie version here today. But if you want to listen to the 15-minute teaching on this, just go download my post podcast, Million Dollar Mind, and you'll find that episode. So 99% of the planet lives at what I call have, do, be, the opposite of the mindset trick I'm about to teach you. And the way have, do, be works is, here's the amount of money I have, here's the amount of love I have, here's the amount of education I have, hi Adele, hi Kilan. And so therefore, here's what I'm able to do in the world. Here's what I have, therefore here's what I can do. And you've probably caught yourself in this kind of thinking in your own life multiple times, right? Can I really write that book? Can I really, get, really start this business? This bank or my amount of confidence or my amount of education. So here's what I have. Here's what I can do. And therefore, here's who I can be in the world. And this is how 99% of the planet lives, is looking at what they have. So we invite you to practice what we call be, do, have. It's the opposite of how everybody else does it. And it looks like this. Here's who I want to be in the world. Maybe you want to be a leader. Maybe you want to write a book. Maybe you want to own a successful business. I want to be a leader in my community. So start with who you want to be and get really focused on what that person would be doing. And journaling about this is a great idea. So write down, if I were already that person, what would I be doing? And I use this for Million Dollar Women, the book that I wrote. I knew I wanted to be someone who was making a difference in helping more women make more money. Very, I'm very passionate about closing the economic gender gap. So I thought, well, if I was someone who had a leading voice in helping women make more money, what would I be doing? And very quickly, I realized, oh, I'd be teaching, I'd be writing, I'd be doing blog posts. So I started doing those things. That's the do of be, do, have. Here's who I want to be. Here's what that person would be doing. And you start doing those things. So in my case, when I wanted to write Million Dollar Women, I thought, well, I'm not famous. I don't have a huge multi-million dollar company, like I, who am I to write this book? But I just started doing the things that someone would do who was already making an impact on women and money, the thing I wanted to be in the world. And lo and behold, after a couple of years, I'd been teaching workshops, I had helped 75 women raise a collective $15 million that felt ship with Morgan Stanley. And when I went to pitch my book to my publisher, said, you know, I have so many proposals on my desk of people who would like to write books about women and entrepreneurship. And I thought, oh boy, here it comes. Here comes the no. 
<laughs> because like I said, I was thinking, well, I'm not famous. You know, she looked at me and she said, I don't want to work with any of the people who wrote the proposals on my desk. I want to work with you. And the reason is you're clearly an expert in what you do. You've been teaching, you've been coaching, you've been writing. So we want to publish your book. And I was offered a six figure advance on that book. Now that is the perfect example of be, do, have. Who do I want to be in the world? How do I just start doing the things that person would do? And ultimately you will have the things that person has. So I want to invite you to think about that during this time when we have the time to dream, when maybe some of our businesses are on pause and what we were used to doing every day is not even possible anymore. Maybe for the first time ever, you can ask that question. What's my be, do, have, and how do I put it into place? And I know this went by quickly, so if you wanna hear this again, just go listen to my podcast on Million Dollar Mind and you'll hear more about Be, Do, Have and other people who implemented it and how you can implement it in your own life. Okay, that was the mindset teaching for today. And if you're looking for other tips for staying strong and being focused and powerful in your business, then please watch some of the other CEO check-ins. We have them all on my YouTube channel. Just go to YouTube and search Julia Pimsler and it should come right up. So I hope you know. Hi, Sophia. Glad you enjoyed that. Um, over the weekend, we did get some good it was Friday that it did this trillion that was passed, and a lot of it does affect small business owners. So I want to make sure everyone in this call goes to the free Google folder that we created just for you to keep you informed of all the things that you can be doing to government grants and loans designated for small business owners. We're very lucky here at Million Women that we have advisors and board members. Hi, Evan Spla, Evan Zipla. <laughs> we have board members and advisors sending us up-to-date information every day. So please get in touch with Maddie at juliapim.com. is on You'll find all the latest information there. For instance, there are incentives to keep your employees on. There are incentives that will help you um, pay a lower interest rate on your existing loans that can help you get new loans. So I wanna make sure everyone in my community is taking advantage of these. And there, thank you, Maddie, for posting. There's her email, just email her and she will add you to this folder, which we update regularly. We also have some wonderful partners and sponsors who've put free materials in there that they usually charge thousands of dollars for, like doing a content roadmap for your company. Maybe you are ramping up your social media or your thought leadership during this time and you want a way to organize all that. Uh, Wendy Lieber of Content Bacon, thank you so much. She gave us this really cool tool that she usually uses with her clients and people pay her a lot of money for. And it's in our marketing folder of this free Google Drive folder. So please get in there and start using those great resources. And so anyone on this call who's wondering, you know, what tone should I take? Please look at my emails, borrow whatever it is you like of it. If you miss the old ones, Maddie can send them to you. Just correspond with her because I actually feel it's very important for us as business owners to keep doing business because if we don't, the entire world economy is going to come to a standstill and we are going to be the most heavily impacted. We, the small business owners, if that happens. So someone said to me the other day, I love this. They said, you know what? Your paycheck is somebody else's salary, right? Your, what you earn is someone else's income. And so for instance, I've been buying things every day, you know, online, signing up for classes. Just this morning, I re-upped my membership to Medium, which is a wonderful online platform with lots of great articles. Because if we all stay frozen, you know, it's a huge ripple effect. So I would say even more than just, you know, okay, find a way to say something tactful, like do business, please. You know, people still need your products and services and you're contributing to the world economy by keeping things flowing. This time, to put more work out. So how can you use this time? Can you get into a rhythm where maybe once a week you're blogging or maybe it's that once a day you're doing a quick live or maybe you do hire a Facebook person and you go because I really wanna ramp up my social media. 
I know it's hard to spend money at a time when it feels like there's so much scarcity, but this too shall pass. You know, I lived through 9-11, I lived through the recession, and we're going to get through this and business is going to carry on. Business is still carrying on right now. There are many industries that are still booming. People are adopting pets like crazy. So everything to do with pet care. Uh, people are doing home workouts. I've been using the Nike training app every day. Other people are doing yoga classes. I've been, I just re-upped with my Pilates instructor doing private training twice a week. People are doing business. So it's important that we use this time to figure out how can we amplify what we're doing and not retreat, right? This is a time to step up, not to retreat. And for those of you who were not on the workshop on Friday, that was all about finding the opportunities during this time. So where are these opportunities? They are in serving your clients and customers in a slightly different way, maybe creating a new program that speaks to their problems right now. All right, everyone. Well, great joining. Great to be with you today for CEO check-in and uh, love doing that live coaching. We'll do more of it on Wednesday. So join us 12 to 1230. And in the meanwhile, please do go look at the Google folder to see the new things we put in there, especially in the uh, disaster relief folder, which has everything about how you can apply for loans and grants. And I will continue to keep you up to date and informed that way. Hi, Shah. Hi, Maddie. Hi, Dana. Um, have a great afternoon. I will see you Wednesday at the same time. And remember, keep on doing business. It's important. Bye. Take care. See ya. Thanks.